Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 Shadow Cruiser 259 BHS travel trailer. This is a bunkhouse trailer with one slide up and a small outdoor kitchen. We're going to take a few minutes, run you around the inside, then back to the outside of this new RV. Alright guys, we're now up in this new Shadow Cruiser 259 BHS trailer here. We're going to start looking toward the rear section of the RV here. Um, you can see here we have a slide out system. Electric slide, push button in and out, nice and easy. Does have a manual override crank in case of failure. There's a traditional booth dinette in there. Now that booth dinette does fold down, make into a small bed. And it also has storage underneath of there. You can see the door popped open there. And that gives you quite a bit of access there, but you can also raise up the cushions in the top of the, uh, the bottom seat part of the dinette and get to it a little easier as well that way if you need to. In the slide out is also the Norcold 12 volt refrigerator system, 10.7 cubic foot fridge. Nice big refrigerator there that you're seeing pop up. There's a couple big windows in this slide out as well and both of those do open allowing for quite a bit of air to be able to come in and out. Panning on around, you have the two bunks in the back. There's storage underneath that you're seeing pop up there. These are double bunks, so quite a bit of room back here for the kids to sleep. 275 pound rating on the top bunk window back there as well and also again the one on the top both of those do open too now on the kitchen area here you have a pretty good amount of storage here for an rv kitchen there's four pull out drawers full extending ball bearing drawer guides and the top one does have the little separator for like silverware and stuff a decent amount of storage underneath of the kitchen sink there has the Furion oven with the glass front, little LED lighted knobs, and there's a light inside the oven as well. And it has the glass stovetop cover also. Up top you have again more storage and a traditional RV microwave. And then you have the matching Furion uh, light range, uh, hood range uh, with a light and fan and stuff built in as well. The heat vent is also coming out the side of the cabinet down there. Now back here is going to be the bathroom area. A decent amount of storage space down there. A window in the bathroom, which is pretty nice. Not a lot of them have windows in the bathroom. A little medicine cabinet up top. But I like how they kind of brought the counter and stuff around the wall, giving you a little bit more counter space to set things and also a little bit more storage space or shelf space down there where you could stick some small stuff. You can see the heat vent down there coming out from underneath of the uh, shower area. Foot flush toilet. Pretty good sized corner shower area. And then you have another little shelf up here on the left. Skylight up above, and there's also a fan and vent there as well. So pretty decent sized bathroom for a smaller RV. So there is room to actually be able to get dressed and stuff in there compared to some of the other ones I've seen. Spinning back around here and looking toward the front of the RV. You have your sofa area there. Now that is a tri-fold sofa, so it does flip out into a full-size bed. You also have storage up above along with some shelf space there as well. Now you can also kind of see here in the video here, this is an arched roof. So the center section of the roof is taller than the sidewall area sections. So a nice big height-wise in, in the unit. Um, dual air conditioning track running down the center here 
They do a really nice air conditioning setup. It's a Coleman air conditioner, which is a little bit quieter than the Dometic version. Um, so it is a pretty neat little setup there. Now over here is your entertainment area. So you have an area to put a flat screen TV if you want to do a TV. Um, you can do a TV from the factory, but honestly most people don't buy them because they're kind of cheaper and a lot of people want to get a smart TV or something to put in here. Um, there's cable, satellite hookups, uh, traditional rooftop digital TV antenna and stuff like that as well. And this also has the DV3100 Furion stereo system, which you can see the hookups there where you could plug it into your TV and make those work together. A little bit of storage underneath of that section. And down below, you can also see your electric box and another heat vent down there. Going on back here is the master bedroom area here. There's a hanging closet on both sides of the bed. There's also uh, overhead cabinet there. And I like the cabinetry as well for the fact that it has the nicer hidden Euro hinge style look, but it also on those flip up doors has little shock holders on it as well, just so you don't fall down. Just makes it a little easier for you to get in and out of there. Now back in behind here, you can kind of see a little shelf behind that light. But that light is a two-stage light. It's a directional light, but there, if you touch the button once, there's a little backlit section that lights up, and you touch it a second time, and it turns on both the external end and the backlit section. Window on both sides of the bed. Now there's also TV hookups up there. So you could do a flat screen TV on the wall if you wanted. There's also a roof vent up there with a small little fan in it, which is kind of cool because a lot of campers don't have roof vents in the bedroom anymore. Now going around the foot of the bed area here, you do have a little bit of room. Uh, you kind of kind of slide sideways a little bit to get around. But once you're over on the other side, there's a little bit more room. Electric outlet over here. Then you have the sliding door for privacy area here. Now underneath of the bed is a little unique. Um, we're going to pop up a picture there to kind of show you that. But there is kind of an open section underneath of there. And you can kind of see the LED light and stuff there as well. And they do that for a couple reasons. You can get those little plastic totes and stuff and slide them underneath of there so you can kind of pull them in and out a little easier. But you can also, um, for some of you that have pets and stuff, they like to sleep in the bedroom, kind of gives them a little area where they can kind of go underneath of as well. And we're going to take a few minutes and run you around the outside. Then we're going to close everything up and show you what it looks like closed too. All right, guys, we're now on the outside of this new Shadow Cruiser 259 BHS trailer here. And the Shadow Cruiser is built by Cruiser RV, by the way. Um, on the front section here, we're going to start off with the nicer heavy-duty fiberglass front cap. Three-quarter front cap, lower diamond plate, little LED light strips built in there to the front. You have two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover, auto changeover regulator system. There is a battery on this unit, which is a deep cycle interstate battery with the box and cover. That is provided by Couch's RV Nation. They don't actually come with batteries from the RV manufacturer. So depending on where you end up getting your camper from, make sure you do at least get one battery if you don't get it from Couch's RV Nation. Power tongue jack with a built-in LED light. Heavy duty safety chains, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, seven way Bargman plug to work your lights along with your brake system. Looking down the door side of the coach here, you have a nice big storage compartment here going across the front of the RV. Now in this storage compartment, there is an LED light strip 
And you can also see the light switch there for that. Down below, power jacks on the front and rear of the coach. Those are nice stabilizer jacks. Push a button, easy to use. There's a full enclosed underbelly that you're also seeing underneath of there. Deep tent safety glass windows. Nice feature there to be tented. Some brands of RVs are clear glass. Power awning, nice size power awning here, good size. That has the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. Also has a spot in the top head here where you can stick a ratchet and socket and actually manually crank the uh, awning in in case of an electronic failure. So it is nice and easy to do in case of a failure where some brands you have to completely tear apart that section and roll it up by hand. So definitely like this awning over some of the other ones for maintenance purposes and stuff. Uh, blue LED light strip built in, pretty common, either blue or clear with most RV manufacturers, but uh, they do a blue one in theirs. Two outdoor speakers, large folding entry handle, and the more ride step above steps here. Now by the entry door there, you'll see the extended season RV sticker basically telling you, you know, it's got a little bit better insulation package and closed underbelly and stuff. Also has the three year structural warranty sticker there. Not all brands have that. Some manufacturers are still old school and doing one year structural warranties. Um, so that is a nice bonus feature for the Shadow Cruiser brand. Uh, your model number stickers there, electric outlet, fresh water tank fill, and there is your furnace exhaust out there. Stove exhaust out right up there by the shadow name. Going on back here to the back section, you have your little outdoor kitchen area. So you have a sink that is hard plumbed into the system. So it's got a drain instead of just a dump sink like a lot of brands are starting to do. Hot and cold water there. Two burner gas stove top. A little bit of storage there. And you also have your little mini fridge right there as well. Down below, power tongue jack or power rear stabilizers as well. On the back of the coach, you have your six gallon gas and electric water heater. Standard four inch square tube bumper, great place to store dump hose. Um, up top there below the center running light, you have pre-wire for a backup camera. So if you want to install a backup camera or observation camera, that's where it actually goes. I definitely talk with your salesperson about that. Great feature would be the Furion observation camera. That way you can use it while you're driving down the road and see behind you. Coming around to the off door side here, you can see your slide out. Again, electric slide, so you just push a button, it goes in and out. We'll close that up at the end of the video, show you what it looks like outside and inside. Dump area down below here. And you also have an outside spray port, your electric plug, city water hookup, black tank hookup, and there is a cable and satellite inlet as well. The black tank flush is kind of nice because that goes directly into your toilet system and rinses it out. Aluminum wheels on the coach as well. Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Try to update these usually two or three units a week I try to do just to kind of get you guys an idea on all the new stuff that's kind of coming in and out of here. Don't forget to hit the notification button so it will alert you about the new videos. Now on the front corner here, you're going to see pop up your gross weight sticker, dry weight sticker will also be popping up here shortly. Um, the Asdale sticker about the Asdale on board. That is where the fiberglass is attached to a composite material instead of a wood lou on board. So it is much less likely to delaminate or have a rotting problem 
on your sidewall so you won't get those big bubbles and stuff like you do with uh, Lou on board when it starts to get damaged by water. So that's a nice improvement to the construction of an RV. All right, we're gonna close her all up here and then show you what it looks like inside as well. All right, guys, we're now back up in this new Shadow Cruiser here. And I wanted to show you what it looks like closed up. And I forgot to mention earlier when we were inside here, but your panel for all these controls and stuff is right here. So you have your battery control, uh, your meter, fresh water, black water, gray water, all that good stuff here to kind of tell you how full things are and what's going on with them. Slide out in and out button, awning in and out button, battery disconnect, and some light switches for things inside the RV and outside the RV, along with your water pump and your water heater on gas button. So that's what this is all about here. Now we're gonna run in the slide out here, kind of show you what everything looks like, and then we'll run it right back out. But basically you just push a button. Again, it does have a manual override in case of an electronic failure, but uh, you know, just push the button, it comes in and out nice and easy. Only takes a few seconds. Now the nice thing on this floor plan is it's fully usable even when the slide out is closed. I mean, you could uh, still technically sit here at the sofa, although you're staring at a wall there, but you could actually sit there if you needed to. Uh, you have access to the bunk room, the bathroom, the kitchen. You can fully walk through here, no problem at all, and get to what you need to get to. And same exact thing, we'll spin around here so you can kind of see going forward. So plenty of room, even with things closed. So if you have to stop at a rest area or something like that, or even if, say, the slide out failed and you couldn't get it out, it's not going to 100% ruin your trip because you can still use the camper even though it is closed up. Would be kind of inconvenient, but it's still functional closed up. And just to put it back out, all you got to do is push the button in the opposite direction here. Again, guys, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the uh, notification icon if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. And also check out CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks for checking out my videos, guys.